If you wonder why broadcast television and radio has to tell you what station you're on so often, you can trace that back to rules put in following Orson Welles' radio play adaptation of H.G. Wells' The War of the Worlds, which was broadcast on this day in 1938. Many believe Orson was well aware most of his audience would be channel surfers, landing on his broadcast after the end of an opening comedy monologue on a competing station. A monologue delivered by a puppet. Yeah, on radio. Whew, go figure. And that might be why there was no mention it was an adaptation after the program began. Which is a critical thing to consider, because by presenting War of the Worlds as a mock news program, without interruption, without identification, for the entire broadcast, Wells triggered a wave of hysteria across parts of the United States that was unmatched by its level of hype and irrationality until Fox News started bleeding on about Biden and Marxism, proving that even 80 years later, if there's one nation that'll buy into nearly every ridiculous fear-based conspiracy it's America! Sadly, it also means that little has changed. On this day in 1995, Quebec citizens narrowly voted in favor of remaining a province of Canada. In their second, and if you saw my episode on the threat of allophones, probably last, referendum on national sovereignty. The final score was 50.58% to 49.42%. It's also Checklist Day, Hug a Sheep Day, Candy Corn Day, Create a Great Funeral Day, and Haunted Refrigerator Night. And that's today's Dozabear Digest. See you tomorrow! You know, frankly, Thanksgiving, that's haunted refrigerator night because the leftovers in there are, I mean, they're yummy, and if I give in to that, well, I'm haunted. I'm haunted whether I go or not. I'm haunted if I lay in bed thinking about all the stuff that's in the fridge on Thanksgiving Eve. And I'm haunted if I sit there at the fridge eating it. And I'm haunted the next morning. I won't go into that. Ugh.